West African regional bloc ECOWAS says that it is still hopeful that ongoing diplomatic efforts to resolve the Niger coup will yield positive results. It, was, however, main, it has, however, maintained its desire to see constitutional order restored in the country. Analysts insist that, for now, diplomacy remains the best way out of the crisis. Reporting from Abuja, Nigeria, his CDT and Skeleti Mekelam. ECOWAS has neither declared war on the people of Niger, nor is there a plan, as it is being purported, to invade the country. Omar Touré, the president of ECOWAS, has emphasized the regional body's commitment to see democracy restored in Niger. Despite weeks of speculation that it might deploy its standby force against the military rulers in Niamey, ECOWAS says it's prioritizing diplomacy and will only use force as a last option. We are hopeful that these diplomatic efforts will yield the desired outcome and make it unnecessary for the deployment of the force. Nonetheless, preparations continue towards making the force ready for deployment. After activating its standby force, ECOWAS has faced increasing speculation about when and if it will intervene militarily against the hunter. This anticipation has grown following the regional bloc's rejection of the hunter's recent proposal to remain in power for a transition period of three years. In the weeks following the coup, ECOWAS issued a seven-day ultimatum to the hunter, which was not heeded. Since then, the organization has engaged in a series of diplomatic activities to restore peace in Niger. Despite economic and financial sanctions, peace negotiations and threats of force, Niger's military remains steadfast in its position. Experts believe the mobilization of military force is unlikely. Do you go to a war with empty, empty hand? They, they don't have the resources, so the only way is this diplomacy uh, that they are using. Let them continue, no matter how long it is. They should, they should, there should be no, 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 no stopping. It is not in anybody's interest, certainly not in the interest of any African country in this block. So they don't have a choice. Now, the, the, the junta have said, they're giving it three years. All ECOWAS can now do is to negotiate a shorter timeline. ECOWAS enjoys the backing of the African Union and many others in its effort to restore democratic rule in Niger. With the country landlocked and under sanctions, international relations experts have weighed in on the potential impact. People in Niger will continue to suffer. And while they suffer, it will degenerate into a humanitarian problem. And when there's a humanitarian problem, the people are not going to wait around in Niger. They will start to march. They will leave Niamey and they're coming to Northern Nigeria. They're going to other countries in the region. We're going to have a huge number of people who will be displaced. But despite the challenges, ECOWAS remains steadfast in its commitment to using military intervention as a last resort. Kilichi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.